and welcome to this tutorial about Microsoft Enter ID Entitlement Management. In this tutorial, I will talk about what problems are solved by this powerful tool in Microsoft Enter ID. I will talk about the key benefits, the components of Entitlement Management and how to implement this Entitlement Management using Microsoft Entra Portal. My name is Navneet Kumar. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer and the founder of TrainCrest Technologies. There is a very common problem in organizations when new employees join or a partner or a vendor or contractor needs access to the resources from an organization. And that problem is that people might not know that what resources they need to have the access to or who will approve their, their access. Also, they can retain this access for longer duration than the required. So to solve this problem and to streamline this life cycle of access rights assignment on the enterprise applications or resources, we can use the entitlement management. This powerful tool is designed to streamline the management of access to resources within an organization. If I talk about the key benefits of this feature, it offers the improved security. By automating access management and enforcing the policies, organizations can reduce the risk of unauthorized access. You have tried and tested access in your uh, environment that you are delegating to the users. Number two is enhanced productivity. Users can self service access requests and that reduces the IT burden and accelerating the workflows. In organizations, if employees are not aware that what resources they need the access in future and when the access is required to those resources, then they will call the necessary people or the help desk support team for providing the access. And this access approval can be a time consuming job, which reduces the productivity of our employees. So if we know that what employees will require, what resources and what level of access they need, we pre provision that in and store it into a package. And then we assign the package when the employee joins the organization that can solve this problem and can make people more productive. Number three is compliance. Entitlement management helps meet regulatory requirements also by ensuring proper access control and the auditing. Number four is cost reduction. So streamlined processes and reduced manual interventions can lead to cost savings in your organization. If I talk about the key components involved in the entitlement management, these components are number one is access packages. These access packages are bundles of resources like applications, groups, SharePoint sites or teams that represent the specific role or permissions within an organization. Number two is catalogs. This catalog acts as a container for organizing the access packages or the resources. Number three is requests. The users can submit access requests for specific access packages that they need. Number four is approvals. So requests can be configured to require the approval from the designated approvers or the supervisors before granting the access to the resources. Number five is assignment. Once this is approved, then access is granted to the users and typically for a defined period we assign that access so that users do not retain that access for longer duration than the defined. Number six is reviews. Access can be periodically reviewed to ensure that it remains valid and necessary. Number seven is expiration. So it ensures that access can be automatically revoked after a specified duration. 
If you look at the diagram, here I have the enter ID, there is an external directory and to these users I want to provide access to the resources. So I can create the access packages, I can put the necessary resources like groups, teams or applications in this uh, access package and then can assign this access to the users or provide the users the access portal through which they can request the access and they will be either approved or denied the access to these resources. These access packages are stored inside a catalog as you see the catalog one which is which is containing all these resources the access packages inside it. So let's look into the implementation of the Microsoft Enter ID Entitlement Management, the step-by-step -step guide. For this, I will go to the Entra portal, entra.microsoft.com and go to the Identity Governance. This feature is for Identity Governance because it is used to meet the compliance, the auditing requirements and also to provide the necessary access to the users. There is a blade called Entitlement Management. In the Entitlement Management, you can look for getting started over here that uses the external user life cycles, how it works, group memberships, role assignments and auditing and reporting. You can review common use cases for this. So you can spare time in this getting a started window. Let me move to the access packages and this is where we store the resources in form of these access packages. I can click on this plus button to create the access package and then I will define this access package. For an instance, this is for IT support desk. The description for that for IT support desk resources. Catalog, it is uh, general catalog so it will be part of that catalog you can create a catalog you can create it uh, separately by going to the catalogs blade and creating that or click over here to create a new catalog which will have all the resources as of now i'm going with this general catalog where i will keep this access package or for it related i can create this it catalog and will provide for it resources and enable and then enable for external users, no. These will be my internal employees who will be doing the IT support related tasks. Now I will move to the next, to the resources over here, groups and teams that I want to add. So groups are actually for assignment of the permissions and teams are for the collaboration purpose. I can add both of them. So I want the user to be a member of a particular team or a member of a particular group. So I can add them. So I will go to the groups over here or I can search the groups over here by the name, let's say IT. So I will uh, search or see all the groups and teams, not in the IT catalog, actually it is looking in that IT catalog. IT test group, I will choose that. I can add the applications from that catalog also. So I'll go to the applications. I don't have any application in that catalog. So I can see the applications that are not in the IT catalog right now. And then this is test app for an instance. The requests can be configured over here that for users in your directory you want to provide access or for users not in your directory that has been disabled already where I selected on the um, initial page of this to not allow none for administrator direct assignment only. So this access package will be assigned directly to the administrators. Then enable new requests, whether you want to enable new requests or not. So you can choose that accordingly. Request verified ID. So verified ID is the feature of enter ID that also can be used over here. That only with the verified ID, the users can request the access to the packages, access packages. Request information, you can provide the request information, the questions and answers format that when the users will be requesting access, so requesters information and the attributes will be captured. The life cycle for this for how long you want to provide that. For an instance, I want to provide it for 365 days from the time of assignment in number of days or on date or number of hours or never. 
So I will decide this time period require access review whether I want that access review or not and how frequently I'll be doing that access review biannually annually quarterly monthly weekly so for an instance I'll be doing it monthly so that I can do self reviewed or specific reviewers I have then I can define the specific reviewers who will be reviewing this access or managers so users manager will automatically be able to access that review the access finally custom extensions if I want to add any custom script or extensions and then I will create this access package role selection is oh excuse me the role for the IT test is owner or member so here we have two options actually so this is uh, the one I have selected as owner and default access on this requests for internal users in the directory and select users and groups So let's say to user Brad, I want to provide this access or to a group I want to do that. So IT, IT test. So few parameters were left. The validation window checked that few more parameters were required. And then uh, here we go approvers are not selected that who will be the approver so requests approvers so require the approval and uh, okay yes requesters justification how many stages one stage only first approver so choose a specific approver who will be the approver for an instance, I set myself as the approver for this. MOD administrator. Let me check if there is any other parameter which is pending select users okay on users who can request access so specific or all members excluding guests can access it approver this is done Here we go. Now I will click on review and create and create this access package. Well, this access package is having the access portal link that will be used by user uh, of users of that IT test uh, group to access or request the access to the access uh, package. So if I go to the entitlement management and I can see the access packages, I can take that uh, link anytime. So I will go to this IT support desk and will take this access portal link and will provide it to the users who will join the organization as IT support desk team and they need those required resources to do their day-to-day -day jobs. So all the resources have been already provisioned within the uh, access package they have been stored and users will immediately get access to those resources and for the defined time frame. If I talk about the catalog, I created that catalog for IT already. So you can create a catalog putting the resources in this catalog. For an instance, I want to do it for testing purpose and uh, click create so here in this uh, test catalog I can put some resources some access packages can be member of that as well so when I add the resources the same window you will see that you have seen in the access packages to add the groups teams applications SharePoint sites or the Microsoft Entra roles that you want to assign 
so you can add these uh, resources and uh, you also can add the access packages to a catalog so that's how we can uh, use this entitlement management to create the access packages and uh, define all the resources that will be required by a uh, particular group of uh, users to access these packages uh, that includes the roles the groups the teams the sharepoint sites the applications uh, all the necessary resources in one place and on day one they will be having the access to all the necessary resources it is not like that when they come across a situation where they uh, realize that they need the access to this particular application or resource and then they initiate the request to access it which uh, uh, takes time and decreases the productivity of the organization so in nutshell we get improved security the compliance we get the cost effectiveness we get the users productivity uh, users frustrations uh, are reduced because they have the access to necessary resources in advance so that's all about entitlement management i hope this tutorial was informative to you thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos